Not knowing what lies ahead, they proceed with caution. The building where Mike saw the panels and the freight yard from day one have both been cordoned off as part of the experiment. Joey will lead his team to the yard while Mike takes a crew to break into the building. Think anyone lives here? I don't know. Steel frame door. Let's see if I still got the skills. Yeah. There we go. That was it? That was it? Hang on. I think I got it. Yeah. There. Woo-hoo. Crazy. Anything spooky out there? Those were the ones? Wow. Solar panels are used to power warning lights on railways and highways. They don't need to be attached to the electricity grid, and they last for years. In fact, that's exactly what we need on the bottom. We need to take this whole thing, OK? All right, let's roll out of here fast. Come on. Wait. You good? Yeah. Meanwhile, Mike and his team have the more difficult task of disassembling a permanent installation on the roof. Now I gotta put all the screws back in here. I unscrewed my end over here. After a disaster, scavenging and stealing may actually become a way of life. And the people who would ordinarily never steal are out there taking things. The panels weigh about 20 pounds each, and these colonists have netted 14 of them. John V scavenges materials for a makeshift litter that will carry the load. We got solar panels and you know all the energy we can use pretty much during the daytime, but now we uh, just gotta set it up. All right, there. Let's push it down now. You guys, open up! Come on in, you guys. Look what we got. Okay, just push it. Keep on pushing it now. There we go. How many did we get? 14. We got 14. Oh, damn. What are those, 75s? 75, so do the we math. We got four 75s over there. So we got two kilowatts almost. All told, the colonists net 18 75-watt yep. solar panels, enough to keep their batteries charged indefinitely.